Hi, this is Tristan from heartratemonitor.co.uk and this is my short video review of the Suntos Spartan Sport. Pretty much everything I say in this video, um, well everything I say in this video also relates to the Spartan Ultra. The main difference on the Ultra is its uh, improved battery life, something we'll be talking about shortly. So the purpose of my videos is to give you a walkthrough of the product as if you were owning one yourself to make sure that it's what you're looking for in a GPS outdoor sports watch. First thing I'm going to quickly cover is the display. I have seen some negative uh, reviews of the Sunto Spartan range saying that the display is not bright uh, etc and that the images that have been used for marketing are just CG, uh, yeah, they probably are CG like everybody uses, but this is a real unit, as you can see. Uh, that's not with the backlight on. That's just the normal display in, in daylight as you'd see it. Um, obviously indoors, with low light, you might need to activate the backlight. Um, this watch is in. I'm going to do that for you now. I'm going to turn off these lights and then tap the display. So now the backlight is on. I've set this watch up into toggle mode, which means the backlight will stay on until I tap it to turn it off. Back on again. Okay, but for the purpose of this video, throughout this video, I'm going to turn the backlight off and just rely on the illumination from my lamp. So I'm just going to go through the main screens and functions of the watch. It's a high color touchscreen display. The Spartan has a mineral crystal glass. So the Spartan Sport has a mineral crystal glass. The Ultra has a sapphire glass. Both of them obviously are highly resistant to scratches. So it's touch sensitive. Alternatively you can use the three buttons on the side. A long button generally takes you back to where you previously came from. A long, a long press of the middle button. I'm going to use the buttons on the side here to navigate through the video because it saves me putting marks on the display. Um, so obviously up and down. Press and hold to get to settings, and that's where we can customize. Excuse me. Where we can customize the different watch faces. Most watch faces have some indication of your activity tracker. And all of them have the ability to change the color. So if we go to this one, and I can then change it to different colors. Let's go up through the, to the top of the functions. Settings, we'll quickly go through those at the end. Press and hold, back again. So that's the settings. Stopwatch, it's just convenient. I would also like it to have a countdown timer, so Sunto please can I have a countdown timer there as well? logbook, previous sessions. I did run with it last night. I did a seven mile run. This is the level of detail you'll see on the watch. As you can see it also gives you um, running cadence and uh, peak training effect so 4.3. That training effect only goes up to five so that's quite a hard session. Average heart rate. I don't have the power. It can use power from the these uh, Bluetooth power sensors are for you to go on your shoe and pace. You can press and hold to go back. Navigation. Obviously, all of the um, most of the Sunto range, one of their main features is navigation. On navigation, you've got the option of doing three things uh, for routes. You can either build a route. From scratch on moves count, you can save a previously 
uh, ridden or ran, walked, track as a route, or you can find somebody else's using the explore feature and import it onto your uh, spot and watch. It's all very easy. So in mine, I've got a couple there. One which was a bike ride that I've previously ridden. And also, the other one was a quick test loop. As you can see, there's two views here. This one was made with waypoints. This view here shows you a zooms in. Um, bearing in mind, these aren't auto routers. They're not telling you to turn left, turn right. It just gives you a indication of where you are on your breadcrumb trail to help you find your way somewhere. It also has a digital compass. which works equally well horizontally as it does vertically. That's the main navigation. Okay, being a Santo, you're going to want to exercise. Currently in Santo Moves Count, there are, I believe, 80 different sports. And you'll watch the Santo Spartan can hold 20 of them. So for some sports, say for example kayaking, there will just be one profile called kayaking. For other sports like running, there will be various different running sort of sub profiles like uh, interval training or power running or racing. Uh, and the difference is there that they give you different screen views. We are hoping that very soon the Spartan will support user configurable display options in the same way that you'd get from most Garmin's and Polar's. So currently you get what you've got. Um, so if we go into running, obviously I've not got my heart rate belt on here actually and I haven't got my GPS on. Um, sorry, it won't sync the GPS. Actually it looks like it has but let's press start. So this screen is giving me um, distance, time, heart rate, and average pace. Pace obviously is just drifting around right now because that's what GPS does when it's in indoors. Um, this one has running cadence, distance, heart rate and duration. Um, average speed, average heart rate. So these different screens are defined by Sunto in the moves count and you just choose the ones which are most suitable, most relevant to yourself. This screen's useful, this gives you the um, averages for your laps. So if you had it auto lapping or manual lapping, this will give me average pace, average heart rate and average cadence. And this is also doing, um, been set up to do a route. So this is navigating on a route. Again it's, again, it's not going to tell me where to go. It's not going to say left and left and right. It would just be if I wanted to follow a route, uh, that would be the blue line and I would use the um, the watch to help me follow that route. The buttons will be used to control what you do. Bottom one is a lap. And the top one is pause. So you can end it there or you can resume. So I'll do resume. A new feature that came on the watch and one of the firmware upgrade dates is tap the display and it shows you your battery percentage and time of day. So even if you don't have time of day in one of your training views, you can bring it up anytime you want by tapping it. Okay. Um, so while I'm in this, this is this started off as a run. This is a key feature of the Sunto Spartan. Bear in mind people who use this do all participate in all sorts of sports. I can press and hold the top right hand button, which puts it into multi-sport mode, and I can now totally change sport. So I've just been running, so now it's now going mountain biking. Now because I've just changed sport, the training views are different. So I'm obviously seeing very different data this time. Ascent data, descent data, possibly pedal cadence. Um, possibly not on the mountain bike. Um, 
so you're going to see different data for that specific sport let's change sport again and let's just now finish off uh, with some weight trading okay so just two training views for weight training and then when I've finished and end when you um, finish the session you get asked what your feeling was how did it feel and um, this is to help you get an uh, appreciation if you're maybe starting to overtrain you know, if they're all average then that's not looking good so this is just asking you how do you feel I'm going to say very good and that's going to save the session now, if I didn't want to save this session to memory I could just delete it there but each there's a sum of each sport and then we're back to the start so let's just have a quick look at the sports profiles that I've got loaded into the watch see the words underneath where it says basic those are the sort of those sub profiles I mentioned so that for example is a cadence focused cycling session so let's just go into that one when you go into any sport you do get some options uh, you can set targets so that's generally that currently that's just duration I believe there's some talk that that will also be either um, heart rate based or distance based target You can choose your route if you're wishing to follow a, a, one of the preloaded routes. And you can also set the GPS accuracy. Setting the GPS accuracy determines the battery length, the battery um, life. So I'm using BEST. Okay, so we've looked at exercise, we've looked at navigation, we looked at logbook and stopwatch, quick look in settings, let's go down now, so that's time of day, we have my activity, this, this one looks, it's got activity, so I'm about 80% done, dual time and date. So there's my, I've done 6,903 steps. There's my daily calories. And now this is a summary of my training. Obviously I've had, only had the watch three days, I've used it twice. Um, that's training time and that's distance. So as we saw before, I've been for one run. And this is my recovery. So yesterday when I finished my run, it said I needed 27 hours to recover and that's going down okay so this is a quick overview of the Sunto Spartan it's a USB charger it's a very strong magnetic clip just plopped on the back there it's a polyamide case it's a very soft silicon strap it's actually really light it's about 10-15 grams lighter than the Ambit 2 and the Ambit 3 I was saying this one is a crystal mineral watch face. Uh, in the Ultra, it's a sapphire crystal. Three buttons, touch sensitive display, tap on to turn the backlight in toggle mode, tap it back off again to turn it off. Okay, thanks for watching my review. This is the Sunto Spartan Sport. It's available online at heartratemonitor.co.uk. Please read my review. Please click on the other links if you're not in the UK to check the prices with your uh, local shopping partners. I recommend it highly. I think it's a brilliant watch. Uh, it's supremely well made. It's robust. It's light. It's clear. It's intuitive. It's supported by a great web service and an improving web app. I'm sorry, and an improving mobile app. Um, please read my full review and um, hopefully you may have one on your wrist soon.
Thank you.